At a certain point in life, I realized that I'm a creative person, not a nine to fiver. School was really hard for me as a child. I was bored and couldn't keep up. I was that kid that was always staring out the window and the teacher would say, Janice, what's so interesting out there? I had a lot of anxiety as a child and my parents didn't know what to do with that. But when I turned seven, my sweet father bought me a piano. He just showed up with it one morning and said that he thought I needed some place to put my energy, my emotions, all that stuff that I didn't know how to handle, and he thought a musical instrument might be it. Duck to water. I loved it. By the time I was 10, I was giving recitals, and when I was 13, I was playing at some of the bigger theaters in Syracuse. By the time I hit high school, it was all about the music department. We had a fabulous musical director, and if it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't have graduated, but he really took me under his wing. So I was involved in everything musical. I sang in the chorus, I sang in the specialty choruses, I sang in the jazz groups, I accompanied when I could, and I was in all the musicals. I left high school and went right to work after working in his office for several years. Eventually, I went back to school, did a two-year music degree, and started teaching, but it was too hard to make a living that way as a single parent. So I went back to work, square peg, round hole. The one th good thing about that is I had a client who owned Brennan stained glass, and I'd always been fascinated by that. So I started saying to him, when are you going to have a class? And I mean, it was like two years. And he finally said, you know what? Call Susan. So I started doing stained glass and I just fell in love. Then a mentor of mine suggested that I try SUNY Empire. I was very anxious about it because it was school, but I jumped in and went. I did four years of college in three and got a bachelor's of professional studies in architectural glass. A six week internship with a local glass studio was a game changer. I realized that I'm a creative person. I'm not a nine to fiver in any way, shape or form and trying to fit myself into that kind of job was never gonna work. It was very hard to make a living as an artist, but after my dad died and I got through cancer, I said, what am I waiting for? Seriously, what am I waiting for? I have more time behind me than I have in front of me. So I talked with a friend who owns her own building and I asked for a room and she said, what are you gonna do in there? And I said, I'm going to turn it into an art quilt studio. So my cousin and my husband helped me move in, and I have spent the past almost three years in that room happier than I've ever been in my whole life.